Hey everyone, welcome to the show. So it's widely believed that failed Arizona gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake plans to run for the Senate. I mean, part of it is that she has said so, she's considering it, but MAGA world is really pushing her to do it. And as you guys all know, if you've watched this show for any length of time, she still hasn't stopped whining about her loss in the 2022 midterms. I mean, we are almost a year out now and she is still whining about it. Because as with her Fuhrer, Donald Trump, she is a sore loser. She has an overblown ego. Um, she claims that the election was stolen from her despite losing in court after court, failing to prove anything whatsoever. So I'm sure she is gonna call this poll fake news um, because she is overwhelmingly unpopular in the state of Arizona. That's what we're finding out. An organization called Noble Predictive Insights surveyed 1,000 registered Arizona voters, and they found that 51% have either a very or somewhat unfavorable opinion of Lake. Only 35% of respondents have a favorable view of her. And arguably, the most important voting block is independence, right? You cannot win without independence in this day and age. You, whether you're Democrat or Republican, you need to pull some of them over to your side. And the majority of independents do not care for Lake. When they broke it down by party affiliation, 51% of registered independent voters have an unfavorable opinion of Lake. Lake would have to win over some of those independents to secure that Senate seat. And polling from earlier this year shows that the Democrat is favored to win. In February, a, another group did a survey of another 1,000 registered voters in Arizona, and Democrat Ruben Gallego secured 34% of the vote compared to Lake at 26%. So, <laughs> Pretty obvious there. Um, what made me really smile with this poll is that Democratic trader and corporate shill Kristen Cinema, who's now an independent, she came in last in a three-way race, dead last. She received only 19% of the votes. And in a head-to-head -head matchup between Gallego and Lake, he still wins. He wins 43% to Lake at only 33%. Anyway, guys, I will let you know when I hear more. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please become a supporter if you can. Links are down below in the description box on YouTube and on the podcast. Um, really helps to keep this show moving forward. So appreciate it. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.